Hello YouTube, this is Chas here, Stan because welcome to another tutorial. This tutorial we're going to continue where we left off in the last tutorial. As you remember in the last tutorial we were working with the Raspberry Pi doing some penetration testing using the MFRC 522 RFID module and I'd show you how to do all cool stuff. If you haven't watched my tutorial, go and watch it. In this tutorial, we're going to be using, we're not going to be using GPIOs. We're just going to use a USB car reader, nice and easy. And this is the one that I got. I, I got it from Amazon. I, it came four or five days later and I only paid like 30 something dollars. I mean, they have other ones that are more expensive. Don't get the expensive one. Just get some, one of the cheaper ones. Uh, this is fine. It works fine. So I'm going to show you how to connect it into the Pi. And the first thing we're going to do is stop this because I already have it. And I'm going to follow the instructions. I have instructions here. I created this directory. It's uh, my, on my GitHub is one of these as you can see this is the la last one that we created that we worked on some of these guys and now this is the new one and this is what i have inside okay so i have some all you need to do is follow directions that's all it is so we're going to we already have the pi Hopefully you already have a Pi with an SD card and you already tested the Pi. You know how to do that. Now we're going to update and upgrade. I'm not going to upgrade, but you can if you want. I don't want to take the time. So I'll just do sudo up, get update and hit enter. And it's going to update. Make sure that you nice and with the latest. And it's taking a little bit longer, it's the Pi, as you know. And now we're going to install these dependencies. These are very important. So just copy and paste, and hit enter. It's going to tell me that I already have them, which I do. In your case, it might take a little bit to download them. Then we continue. Now we're going to get our ACR122 and plug it into the USB into the Pi. And if you're lucky, the light is going to run, it's going to uh, appear red right away, and th then you're golden. But if you're not lucky, like it happened to me, you're going to, it's not going to have any lights whatsoever. So you're going to go, what's going on? So this is why I put this at the end here. Because the first thing you want to do is make sure that your Raspberry Pi is recognizing, detecting the, um, the reader. If you get this line right here that says that you have it, that you're good. We're halfway there. That's what you want to see. And if you don't see that, go, you know, there's tons of ways online that you can check and make sure that to get to uh, do, you know, this should do it. But just in case you don't go online, go on Google and figure out when you'll have an answer in, in, in less than 30 seconds. So if, if we detected it, that means we're good, so we're going to the next one. So we're going to do this. sudo system control restart PCS SD is this guy right there that we downloaded. And just copy and paste. And I'm not going to hit because it's the last time it lock me out of the SSH. I don't want to do that. So hit enter and it should work. And then when you do this, PCSC scan. And if you see that, you're being, you're 
golden, this bingo, you know? It, it's, it, it found the reader and it's ready for a card. And you can see the thing moving, that means it's waiting. So that's good. If I get a card ready next to it, and I'm going to get a card ready, you're gonna hear a click, you heard it, and voila! You get all of this good stuff that we're going to be talking about how to do that and what they what that means but for now don't worry about it let's just close it because i don't want to confuse you because now with that we got the reader connected it's being read by the pi or by your laptop computer or linux whatever so now we gotta get our rust ready because we're going to be running rust commands and Rust uh, scripts on, on this stuff. So, it's almost full, wow, already. So what are we going to do is, we're going to go back and now we already got here. So we know that we all did all that. So now we're going to do the Rust stuff, the project setup. So what we're going to do is create a directory called ACR122. You can call it whatever you want and just hit, it's gonna get an error because I already have one, oops. No, I created another one, I don't want that. Remove RF ACR. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> I don't want a second one. So now, in your case, you're only gonna have cargo tomol. You're on. You're not gonna have that. You're not gonna have that. None of that stuff. All you're going to have is source directory, probably target, and the, your cargo tomol. You're going to. Don't worry about the other stuff. Now you're going to do cargo tomol, and it's going to open your TOML file and you're going to add these two dependencies PCSC 2.4 and rejects 1.801 1. and then close it and now you're ready to do some rust so what we can do now I'll do cargo I usually do cargo check you can do cargo build or cargo check either way so I'll just do check and it's going to take a while. So I'm, I'm on going, actually did it right away because I ran it early. Okay, okay. So don't worry about these warnings, it's just warnings. Well, if you see it green, that means you're good. So now we're ready to do some rust. So now what we need to do is create this directory and uh, this file. And I have it here. I think I included here. Well, just in case. It's in my, actually, let's go here. It's in my files, so it's right there. So go into source, bin, and get UIDRS, and it's this directory right here. And I'm gonna make it a, a file. I keep calling it a directory. I'm gonna make it bigger so you can see it. So let's talk about it a little bit. Use standard time, enforce the standard library components for time handling, threading, and all that good stuff because we're going to be spawning threads. It, it uses the PCS crate that we got through the to, uh, TOML, that's the, the crate that we just added. And that's what's basically is a, inter, it's a Rust interface to the PCSC. What is PCSC? Personal Computer Smart Card. That's what it stands for. Then we're going to create the first function. It's going to define the main function. That's where all the good stuff happens. It returns a result type, which is gonna give us either an okay or an error, okay? So you're gonna see that it's gonna give us an okay or an error. Okay, we continue. So now it's going to go into the just print line, print line, token flow is your test. And if you've done some Rust, you, you've seen this a million times. Here we're creating 
the PCSC context at the user scope, this one right there, and this at the end, the operator will return any errors. Uh, if you get any errors, this is what's good, what, you know, it's going to help you with them. It's going to get whatever readers, in this case, readers is the reader, the card reader, that's what we what they mean by the readers, and it's going to create a mutable buffer. It's a 2048 byte buffer to store all the reader names. Uh, this is going to return a slice of readers if they were found. It's going to check if any readers are found. It's going to loop through all of them. It's going to find uh, readers in reader it's a for loop it's going to keep going 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 and what is happening there is going to convert all the reader name to a string and it's using the string to lossy which handles non utfa uh, characters and that's what's happening there okay it's going to store it in uh, acr 122 u option okay and it's going to print a confirmation message and it's going to get out, exit the loop. If something happened, if something went wrong, it's going to give, uh, if no reader was found, it's going to print a message and exit the, the program gracefully without crashing. Here it's going to extract the reader from the option uh, is because it should go nice and neatly and it's going to print that message and you're going to see it uh, it's going to say place a card already and hold it steady because you know this protocol is only you have to be close uh, I think it's 4 centimeters 20 centimeters 420 I always forget I get confused with the other one control C to quit keep track of the last detected UID to avoid repeats if, if you already saw one, it's not going to, you know, it's, it's going to know that it is already, you've seen it before. And that's the main loop that is happening, going through, going and going. It's going to attempt to connect to a card using the reader. It's going to use the chair mode, uh, accept all the protocols, T0, T1. And we're going to be talking about that in one minute. And then it's going to disconnect from the card properly wait a bit before trying again this is the thread when you spawn in the thread and the duration and close that and if he's uh if if you remove the card uh once he knows that there is no card it's going to say card remove and it's going to stop okay and it's, this is the more error handling. Only print error if it's not what we've seen before. And then, all of, oh my gosh, again. And that's what that does. So now we're going to copy and paste. You're going to go copy if you're using my GitHub file. And then paste it into nano source bin. And you're going to call it. What was the name of it? Get UIDRS. And you're going to go paste. And in your case, it's going to open a blank page. In my case, it's going to open the file because I already have it. And that's the same file that I just showed you. I just got it right out of my GitHub. And then I'm, once you're done, close it. And now we're ready to run it. So we're going to do cargo run binary and the name of the binary. So in this case is UID and it's going to run. And that, there it is. If you got here, you're golden. It's waiting for a cart. So now I'm going to get a card close to it. I'm going to get it close to it. And there it is.
card removed. It knows that I that I removed the card, and it's going to have the the card number. If you remember, it's, this is backwards. I gotta fix it. It's three F D E seven nine. Um, it's inverted. So if we now run the same card using the PC PCS scan that I we followed we did before, right? PC scan. Uh, no, no. What is it? PCSC scan. Yeah, that's what it is. And if you run it, as you can see, it's the same, basically the same thing. This is using Rust. This is using whatever language that they're using. I think it's C that comes with the program that you downloaded. So now when we get the card close to it, it gives you all of this information. And as you can see it here, it also detected it. I'm going to do it again. So you see it here and here. So you go, you see how it detected? It's detected in, in both, OK? OK, so now we're going to be talking about this in the next tutorial, we're going to get into what does all of this stuff mean? And, uh, and we're going to make some sense out of it. You're going to like it because uh, this, there's a lot of stuff there. But we're going to do that in the, in the next tutorial. This is the end of this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please click the like box. Subscribe to my channel. I will see you next time with another tutorial. Take care.